As we approach the six month mark since the release of City Skylands 2, I think we all can agree things have been disappointing. A lot of promises were made by the creators of City Skylines 2, and so far, they've failed to deliver on a lot of those promises. This week, Colossal Order has released a few statements addressing all of this, and today we're going to go over some highlights from this announcement, and at the end, I'll leave you with my final thoughts on everything, and I invite you to join the conversation in the comments and let me know what you think of all of this. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, whether you're someone who is super involved in City Skylines 2 community or a more casual consumer, I feel confident in saying that by this point, everyone is aware of the disappointment felt by the Beach Properties DLC. While I personally like the DLC and have enjoyed aspects of it and was excited for it, I also feel that it left a lot to be desired, particularly in light of its pretty steep price point for what it offered. For some, $10 is not a lot, but $10 is $10, and we didn't get nearly $10 worth from that DLC. Many people in the community that I've personally spoken with said they weren't going to buy it after seeing it. They said it wasn't worth it, and I agree. I couldn't, in good faith, recommend that anybody purchase it. However, good news is, if you felt similarly, and either felt like you wasted your money or felt like you didn't want to waste your money, the Beach Properties DLC is now being officially refunded and will be a part of the base game for those who hadn't ever purchased it. As far as how those refunds work, it's different depending on where and how you purchased it, and I'll leave a link in the description below for more in-depth details about this, since the refund method varies slightly from platform to platform. But for those of you who bought just the DLC as a standalone, it's pretty straightforward. For those of you who purchased through the Ultimate or Premium Editions, it's a little bit more complicated. Basically, since these editions were distributed both physically and digitally, it apparently makes it harder for a simple refund process. I don't exactly know how the method of that works, but that's the gist of it. So if you were one of those people who purchased those editions of the game, instead of getting a refund, you'll instead get three content creator packs and three new radio stations. Colossal Order has put that value at a solid 40 US dollars, so take that as you will. It's far from ideal, and I'm sure a lot of people would rather just have a refund, but I think it's a decent trade-off, and more importantly, a show of good faith from Colossal Order that they are trying to do right by the players and make up for past mistakes. The next big item on the list for today is finally getting a little bit of news about the console edition. I know a few folks watching in the channel and in the Discord community have been eagerly awaiting any news about the console release, and so if you're among those people, there's finally something to talk about. Just to get ahead of any excitement though, there is not an official release date as of yet still. The good news is, is that they're evidently getting a beta build of the console version this month, April 2024, and if all goes according to plan, they're hoping for an October release. But, and I cannot stress this enough, this is not an official release date. This is just their hopes for how soon they can get a console version out. I know that waiting that long and knowing it might still be longer than that is also a bit disappointing, but I think they're really trying to avoid the same catastrophe they faced with releasing the PC version unfinished. And take it from a PC player and a content creator, it would have been nice to have waited just a little bit longer and have a finished product instead of trying to make a game that's broken work. And in light of all the backlash they've received, it seems Colossal Order certainly wishes they'd done that the first time and just waited. Of course, that's always easier said than done. Everyone has their deadlines. Moving on to the final bit of news this week is regarding how other things will move forward in the future. And there's some good news and bad news. Ripping off the band-aid will start with a bad, and that is that the first full expansion pack, the Bridges and Ports DLC, is being delayed yet further still. A while back, they had released an updated timeline for the Waterfront expansion pass, and when each DLC in that pass would be released, and at that time, Bridges and Ports was slated for a quarter four 2024 release window. It's now been pushed back to quarter one 2025. Maybe not the best news, but again, I think I'd rather it be released finished than have them rush out another half-baked product. On to the good news, Colossal Order announced what their plans are for the rest of this year, and they're turning their attention to the base game and working toward getting modding fully finished, including asset creation. This they've announced will come in the form of free base game updates and patches, which I think is pretty exciting. They don't get into the exact details of what this will look like and what sort of improvements and additions they'll be making, but I'm hoping for a few quality of life improvements and some of those little things that a lot of us wanted from the base game initially, 
like a built-in line tool and other things of that nature. That of course is just speculation. I don't know that that's what they're doing, but feel free to let me know down below what kinds of things you think they'll be adding in with these free updates and patches and what you'd like them to include. I think if there's one big takeaway from this announcement, it's that they're really trying to listen to our feedback and to earn the community's trust and forgiveness back. So keep getting out there on Reddit and in the forums and letting them know respectfully how you're feeling about the game and what you'd like to see from them moving forward. I really think they're trying to listen. On to my final thoughts. I think it's best summed up that I am cautiously optimistic. I am sometimes a little bit of a cynic, I will admit, and a part of me is worried that these are all just words, corporate jargon to placate us players. I desperately don't want that to be the case, and I am excited to see what they bring us in the future and want them to make good on their promises, but we'll have to wait and see how it all unfolds to know for sure. They say they're sorry and they're working on it, and I do want to believe them. I'm still rooting for Colossal Order and this game to be all that it can be. And I will say, it does look like they're making the right moves in that direction. Of course, I encourage you to let me know in the comments below what you make of these announcements, if you're excited for it or if you think they're talking out of their asses. I'm always so genuinely curious where everyone else's minds are at with these kinds of announcements. So yeah, let me know down below how you're feeling and thinking about it all. If you've enjoyed this video and are indeed still enjoying City Skylines 2, feel free to leave a like below to let me know you enjoyed it. And if you're looking forward to more City Skylines 2 content and news, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I hope you stick around. Otherwise, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.